So we've just had some um, tea. Well, it's quite late. I suppose you could call it supper. It's now nine o'clock in the evening. And we went to this hotel and had some fish goujons and chips in their bar. And they were just setting up for live music when we left. It was three young girls who were playing guitars. And I think one's, the other one's going to join in singing. But there's a hotel there. And then you come along and there's a pizza place. And then there's the seafood restaurant. Which all the seafood, all the fish is sourced locally here in the bay of Bantry. There's quite a few restaurants and they all have an instant, intensive, I think the word, or extensive, I'm not sure, fish menu. But if we just come along here, this is the square. It's all cobbled. And if we walk down here, it goes, the traffic can only go one way. Sorry, that's my shadow you're seeing. But over here we have this beautiful fountain. <laughs> And there's some people watching it. It's like a pool, but I noticed it on the way in. It's just absolutely beautiful. And we have some seats back here where you can sit. So if I move around, you might get a better view. Sorry, that's my husband walking in front of the camera. But I'll just stand back a bit so that you can see the whole thing. That's it, and I think that is just absolutely beautiful looking up on the hill there and if I do a 360 degree turn round by where I showed you yes well not yesterday earlier on this evening that is the church that we passed and the bells are now chiming and the sun is shining that's just a walkway to go round the square sorry we have got the sun there it is very very bright as you can see in the video in the clouds and we've just come round 360 degrees back to here and I've noticed there's one place across the street is a hardware shop and there's like possibly a house there as well it has a block of let me see one two three four five windows and there's flowers above the name of the hardware shop. It also does electrical and DIY as well. So that's quite interesting. And then we have a st statue further along. But we're going to go now in the car for a drive down to the pier. I think it's just a place for people to go to fish. So I'll switch on the video again when we get there. Hope you're enjoying our trip. So we have come down to the pier but it looks like it's very busy and here we've got the Bantry and Shore Search and Rescue. So that must be the lifeboat. Yes, I think it's the lifeboat. It says in a sign it was founded in 1987 and if I look out this way we see the view over to Woody Island. Woody Island. And there's a boat that can take you across there, but it doesn't go from here. It goes from another pier. And so we're heading back out again. We're looking at buildings across at the other side of the river where we first came into Bantry. And it looks like they're building a big construction place here. But so far what I see from Bantry is it reminds me of a little village in County Wexford called in Scorthy with their square. And this is their river with the boats on it. And in a minute we'll move a wee bit further down because I want to show you a wall on the left of us. It looks like they have some graffiti on it. But um, there's a few coaches and I'm not sure if they're parked up for the night or not. 
but I think the views are just absolutely amazing. Just look at that hill. Sorry I'm getting the mirror of the car and I don't want to. That's the hill. It's just absolutely beautiful and even over there. As I think this is why they call Ireland the Emerald Isle because everything is so green and that's the fishing boats or some of them anyway. There's some quaint little houses about. There's a car looking to go in. I think this might actually be a car park. So we might drive into it so that I can get a better view of the wall I want to show you. Well, what catches my eye is this big eye. Um, it looks like this is recycling. Of all the different bins for recycling, but it's the wall that I'm going to show you once we go around. This is just some building work that's being done. I'm not sure what they're building, but it looks as if they're building into a hill. But here is the wall. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'll actually get out if I can without knocking this off and show you. So, this is the wall. There's an eye and then that's the charger for the electric cars and that looks a bit like another eye with a fire in it or a cave. I think there is caves around here and then further along we see like children. I think they're recycling. Yes they're recycling because we go along they've built a bit of a robot and then it's another one showing how to recycle. So that's basically it folks. That is the village of Bantry and that is the mountains all the way back there so that's it for today we're just going to head back to our B&B and rest until tomorrow hi folks I know I said that I was signing off for the night but I just wanted to show you this view I had showed you Whitty Island down at the harbour we can actually see it from our room but it's a different angle of it so I just wanted to show you that. And that's it. Hi YouTubers. Um, thank you to all my subscribers who have been with me for a long time. And welcome to all the new ones. Welcome back everyone. I'm here with Bria and Carlito. And this is our first morning in Bantry Bay and we have stayed in a lovely guest house called the Eden, Eden Crest and the lady that owns it is called Josephine and she paints pictures and she has showed an interest in Carlito and Bria that she actually last night went and looked it up online. So I thought that was very interesting. We have a beautiful breakfast. There was a beautiful buffet set out of fresh homemade bread. There was sweetened bread, which is like a brown bread for those that don't know, and soda bread, which is like a white bread, only it's very rich and it's much heavier to the loaf breads that you would buy in the shop. I'm going to show you some of the things that I bought yesterday in Cork. First of all, I'll show you a little Bria see her little outfit minus the little onesie blouse. I bought this for her because she was a little sick over her other one and it was just handy to buy her one. It's very similar to the other one and it was on sale so she's been wearing that. She's kept it clean. We just kept the little onesie. 
So we'll put her back there again just to look at you in the camera. There you go, Bria. You see her, darling. We can get her to sit. I really was looking for a blanket to keep them cool, but I didn't want to pay too much. So I saw this beautiful blanket with a bunny rabbit on it. The bunny is beautiful and it's lovely and silky. I got it in Debnam's and it's from the Blue Zoo brand. So that's beautiful. And then I saw these little sleep suits. I might have to move my camera back a bit to show you this. Let's see. It's been hard setting it up this morning to get everything to show. There's a little rabbit on it. And the little feet. And the little arms. So that's lovely. I'm just disappointed that I couldn't find any little mitts and hats to match. But that's okay. I find that. And then I saw this beautiful little t-shirt and first of all I saw the bus on it and there's two wee wheels sewn on for the wheels of the bus but it says North Coal on it and when I saw the bus I thought of my husband because he was away looking at some of the buses in Cork he has an interest in buses and then I looked at the bottom and there's a little car but if you look closely there's Santa Claus on it there there's Santa Claus on a sleigh and that and that ladies was only reduced to three pounds and what make was that one that it's still got the label on it was blue zoo as well the blue zoo make i find can be very expensive in devnooks especially if it's only stuff you put in on a doll so i thought thinking of christmas that would do christmas see curly go and then there was this little pack of two like rompers with little pussy cats so the first one was this and it's all pussy cats with a little romper there and the little sleeves and the little cats all the different colors and um, i think it's made with love by Blue Zoo as well. I must have been in the Blue Zoo part of Debenhams. It was just the baby section and it seemed to be everything they had. This was in the sale reel. The only thing that wasn't in the sale reel was the little sleep suit. And it was 13 euro. And some of the things I bought in the sale were dearer than 13 euro. So I put that up there. And the other little one was this with a little cat on it with a little green bow. Sorry, this is me creaking on a chair in the background. And that's the little so that's the little romper. And then I got a beautiful little all in one dress. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm sure you will do too. It reminds me of little sailor outfits. Though for Bria to wear it, I'm going to have to put a onesie on it. That's a very loose. That's the back. That's the front. And it's got the little bloomers attached underneath. But that's absolutely beautiful. So it's cooler today. The sun isn't shining. And I'm trying to decide what to put on the babies. I'm going to put this on Carlito, just three short onesie, and I'll bring a pair of wee jeans or something with me, so if it gets colder, I can put them on. We're going to follow the coast round today, and I'll show you on a map. This is the very southwest of Ireland, this is part of it. towards what's called Glenariff and then follow the coast on round and there's a castle castle to Winbury and that's yes Glenariff comes before it and then there's Castle Town Bray that's what it is Castle Town Bray and there's a little end there Bray End and then on down here to 
jersey in it, and apparently there's a cable car here, or there was, and it's the only one in Ireland. Sorry, my hair goes in the way. So starting this point here, there's a cable car. So we might try the cable car if it's there, if we get that far, and if not, well, that's okay. She told us of a few places we could get out and walk, and there's one place where we can get a boat. Unfortunately, it goes to an island that's full of flowers, and uh, my sinuses would be very bad. So I don't think we'd be getting the boat, unfortunately. But there's a lot of walks to be done there. My husband and I don't do any walks. We maybe should do them. your little niece and nephew now. So we'll start with Bria. I'm just not too sure what to put on her. She's been fed. It was last night um, the nanny looked after her. So today we're going to take them with us. And they're going to have fun. These buttons are in a good step. Because this is a new outfit on her. I was going to put a little pink rubber suit on but I I think it's very clammy, it might be too warm. So I'll try one of these wee onesies for the cats. Yes, it's quite funny ladies, I buy new clothes when I go on their holidays and then when I get there, I buy more. I put them on them, that's okay. Some of the ones I bought before I came were a little bit big on her, unfortunately, but they'll do some of the other babies. If they were her size, but they're in a bigger size. They were from Mother Care, and normally Mother Care runs small, so I thought this should have fitted her. But that's okay. This we one is a Jasper Conran. Put out nice as well for a tiny baby. You can probably hear people chuckling in the background. Our windows are opening, but that's okay. There's other guests. I think there's five rooms in this B&B, and it's very beautiful. And the view from the window is beautiful. I showed you that last night. So I'll just go ahead and change the babies and then I'll let you see them. <laughs> 